Hey, so today I'm going to be talking about confession, which a lot of people, a lot of Catholics, are kind of squirm when they think of confession. But I tell you, it is so healing. It is such a healing sacrament that we can go to a priest and tell him things that you know we are sorry for that have offended God. And I just this whole video is to encourage you to go to confession because it is such a healing process and i try it personally i try to go to confession once a month i have heard that i don't know if it was our lady of fatima um told the kids that to try to go to confession once a month you know and just to clean your soul and to be pure and holy as holy as you can be for God and one of the ways to do that is through confession and so um, I've heard also Pope John Paul II that as soon as he was Pope that he started going to confession every single day and I don't think that it's because he had all these big sins I mean I don't I don't think so but it's because he wanted to be the purest that he could be to have the grace in him to hear God's Word and that is one of the ways that we can receive God, you know, have God's grace in, and save His grace within us is to have a clean and pure soul. But how you actually go to confession. So you'll go to church and you'll go into the, the confessional. There's usually a line. If there's not, then go for it. Usually there's going to be a light on, you know, in the confessional to know like, okay, there's a priest in there and you can go in. And so you'll go in and you'll decide, most confessionals have two, you can either go face to face with the, with the priest or you can go behind a screen. And so I personally go behind the screen, there's nothing wrong with that, whatever works for you. Some people like the one-on-one. -on -one. But so you'll go behind the screen and if it's been a long time, then you can tell the priest that. You usually start with, forgive me, Father, for I have sinned. It has been, you know, three months or six years or 30 years. Whatever it is, say it's been that this long, just so they kind of have an idea, okay. Um, so forgive me, Father, for I have sinned. It's been, you know, six years since I've gone to confession. And since then, I have, you know, and that's where you just, say the things that you have done that have offended God and um, and then after the priest will will you know talk to you a little bit about things that might help you you know to overcome these sins and usually the priests are really awesome and merciful and just so glad that you are in confession so um, so then he'll ask he'll say you know, okay, for your penance, I want you to say three Hail Marys, or, you know, he'll say something that, for a penance usually. And so you'll usually do that after you're done in the confessional. That's why people who come out of the confessional usually go and sit in the church for, you know, a couple of minutes or whatever, is because they're usually doing that penance then, you know, praying the three Hail Marys or whatever it is that the priest, you know, told them. I've had a priest tell me to pray a rosary so you know so you have priests that'll be like go say in our father or say Hail Mary or you know so you'll have priests that say different things and sometimes they align with you know how what your sin is or you know that sort of thing so anyway so he'll say for your penance I want you to do this and then he'll say can you do um, say your act of contrition and so that part gets a little hairy you'll want to have um, Usually, actually, in the confessional, they'll have a little um, act of contrition. Um, if not, you can print one up online and bring it in with you and just read it right off the paper. That's totally fine, too. And, and then that's it. Usually, he'll say, um, you know, by the power of the Holy Spirit, I bless you in the name of the Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit. And then you're done. And then you walk out and you do your penance. And then you are clean you literally are clean like if you were to die after you walked out of the confessional you would go to heaven you are pure and holy and a saint and so that is i think why confession is so awesome and amazing 
is to we, we all want to be saints so confession you know as much as we think oh confession I don't want to tell people my so my sins I don't want to reveal that to me to, to anybody it's so healing it is so powerful and you know I have been going to confession since I think I was like 10 and I, I go pretty regularly I try to go once a month and I there was one time that I've had a priest who was kind of mean, you know, but for the most part, they were all very kind, very loving. Priests are usually very, you know, want you to know how loved you are. You know, that is their job is to teach us how much God loves us and how merciful he is. And that's what confession is all about is God's mercy. Um, there was one priest who I said a, a sin and he's like, that's not a sin, you know, and he was kind of like mean about it or he's like, since when is that a sin, you know, and I, oh, it was, I, I said, I didn't trust God, you know, and he's like, since when is that not a sin, you know, and I was like, okay, like kind of taken back and I was like, well, it says it in the Bible all the time, like trust God, you know, over and over and he's like, oh, okay, you know, but, but he was kind of mean about it. So I wish I could tell you every priest is gonna be so awesome to you, but priests are humans. They, you know, they're sinners just like us. They are not perfect. But I, I tell you, I've heard so many priests talk about this that they honestly don't remember what people say. Like they kind of forget about it in the confessional. Like they just, you know, it's stay, what, goes on in the confessional stays there, you know, and they're not allowed to tell anybody anything that you say that's, you know, one of the things of the, the Catholic priest. So don't worry about them, you know, spreading the word or whatever. But, um, but I just, I really encourage you because it really is, even though it seems really uncomfortable, it, there is something just so powerful about God's mercy and his, um, forgiveness in the confessional and so um so it says in the bible it says um he said receive the holy spirit if you forgive anyone's sin they are forgiven if you retain anyone's sin they are retained and so that is the sacrament of reconciliation and you can go to priests bishops popes you know um and confess check your local time your bulletin or call the the church you know and usually that they'll have on the answering machine like what time confession is and then you go and you I will have in the link below um, a good like how to do a really good confession because there are you know the Ten Commandments and a lot of the times you don't think about things um, I really like having like where they tell me what different sins are because it really helps me to be like, oh, I didn't even realize that was a sin, you know, and I could do better at that, trying not to do that next time or, you know, just little things that, you know, we might get used to things, you know, being that, you know, we don't think of them as sins, but they really do offend and hurt God. And that's the whole purpose of confession is to reconcile with God, say, God, I am so sorry that I have offended you and hurt you and I'm gonna try harder not to hurt you and offend you because I love you so much. You know, and so that's what confession is. It's taking that time to go before a priest and asking God for forgiveness and his mercy. And so I just really encourage you, a lot of churches will have like something similar to this, like an examination of conscience, right near the reconciliate, um, where you will go to confession. Um, if they don't, you can always go online. I will put in the link below, maybe a, a good one that I can find. Um, but there's nothing to be afraid of. There really isn't. Um, God is so merciful, no matter what you have done, God's mercy is so big and he loves you and he is wanting you to come back to the church, come back to, you know, your, your place with him, you know, your grace, you know, and that's one way 
to keep grace in you is by going to confession. And also, I should say that, you know, we as Catholics, if we have a mortal sin, which is something that is a much bigger sin, then the church asks us not to receive Jesus because we need to be in a state of grace before we can receive the Eucharist. Um, because the Eucharist is such a holy thing. I mean, that is Jesus Christ, and he's you know, entering the temple of your, your body, and so you wanna have a pure and a holy body, and to have that pure and holy body, you really need to have a clean soul. You know, and that's why, you know, at the beginning of Mass, they do have the, you know, where you kind of do a, a little conf confession, you know, like if you have venial sins or smaller sins, like in confess at Mass, they will forgive you those. But the mortal sins and the bigger sins are ones that you really do need to go to confession and talk to a priest about before receiving the Eucharist. Now you can always go to Mass and not receive the Eucharist if your soul is not in a place where you, you know, have grace in you. But that, I think that's why most churches have confession on Saturdays, usually before like the, the evening Mass on, on Saturday, is so that you have a chance to go to confession before you go receive because they really want you to receive and to be united with Christ. And so anyway, I just encourage you. It is such a healing thing for me and I just wanted to share that with all of you, that that healing power that the, that confession has for each one of you. And if you haven't received your first reconciliation, then you need to do that first. You need to maybe go to RCIA classes where you learn about the Catholic faith and decide you wanna be Catholic. Anyway, I hope you, Go, and I hope this encourages you. God bless. Bye.